Hello everyone and welcome to Far Post. Let's get straight to the news. Hyderabad FC signed A League winger Joel KNSA, which has already been covered on our Know Your Player session, which is in the description below. Let's dive in. Hyderabad FC have signed Australian winger Joel KNSA from A League club Perth Glory FC. KNSA has managed 9 goals in 60 appearances for Glory in the past 4 years. Hyderabad FC had released 10 players from their team at the start of this month. Hyderabad FC coached by former Bangalore FC head coach Albert Roca are looking to deliver a good season with quality signings. Moving on. ISL club will not be allowed to draft players from their youth and reserve teams to their first teams during the season. Last season, team could replace players in their squad after every fifth game, that is, after fifth, 10th and 15th matches. This allowed for teams to promote youngsters who are performing well in youth leagues into the first team. However, now in the ISL, this option has been taken away. Clubs will need to identify players who have potential and add them in advance to the main squad. Moving on. Three clubs pick up bid papers for direct entry in I-League. Sudeva FC Delhi, Srinidhi FC Vishakhapatnam and Rainit SC Shillong are the three clubs picked up the bid papers for a direct corporate sport in the next season's I-League. They must now submit their complete technical and financial bid which will be scrutinized by the AIFF evaluation team before decision is made next month. Next. Ferran Corominas does not feel that FC Goa value him for his performance. Ferran Corominas has been the highest goal scorer for Indian Super League and FC Goa and one of the best to have played in India in the last three seasons after two Golden Boot awards. He scored in the ISL with 48 goals from 57 matches. Now the striker has revealed that the offer made by FC Goa hasn't valued him for his performance. So Ferran Corominas returning to FC Goa in the Indian Super League is not sure. Moving on. Roy Krishna signs one year contract extension with ATK. Roy Krishna, who scored a total of 15 goals and 6 assists in 21 games to help ATK become champions of Indian Super League, ATK confirmed that Roy Krishna has extended his stay with ATK FC for one more season. Former Indian footballer Mohammad Rafi's jersey has been sold for 2,44,442 in an auction and jersey was taken by a club called FC Brothers Odawara and the amount is donated to Kerala CM's COVID relief fund. He put his jersey for a good cause to support the government to fight against this pandemic. Yes, moving on. Is Marcelino finally joining Kerala Blasters? It's a common trend that Marcelino getting linked with Kerala Blasters during the start of every transfer window. Well, 2020 is no different. The former Golden Boot winner is again rumored to be joining Kerala Blasters. Will he help Kerala to come back to winning ways? Let us know in the comments. With that, we are winding up this session and please make sure to subscribe for more exciting news and thank you for watching.